Hi everyone, it's Violet. I wanted to show you the dragonflies I've been making. I found a pattern, it's back there hanging on the doily, it's, there's two cardboard patterns off Pinterest and I copied it onto cardboard and then I copied around the fabric and cut it out. But first I ironed some stiff interfacing on the, fa on the back of the fabric. It was easier to trace and cut out the, uh, I keep wanting to say butterfly, the dragonflies. And uh, some I added another layer of sheer fabric, but it didn't turn out quite as brilliant as I wanted it to look, like it had variegating colors. Uh, but when you fuse it together, it kind of lost some of that shimmer. So I tried a little bit of glitter on some, and I could add more. I'm just going to go in a little bit and come back to give you a, a view of them. A group of butterflies is not called a flock. <laughs> it's called a swarm. So this is my swarm of dragonflies. I made bodies with beads. First I just made them flat, but then I decided I wanted beads. So I strung beads on wire and then glued it to the body part, the segmented part of the dragonfly. And I found some fabric at a thrift store just the other day. And the top two on the outside of the blue one, on the left and on the right at the top row, those were cut from that fabric and it had like little cell walls, something like the wings of a dragonfly. So they turned out nice. I'm not finished. Some of them, that one at the very top is just plain blue. I still haven't finished some of them. And they're such fun, I've just really been enjoying um, cutting them out and seeing how the different ones turn out. I'll put some still pictures that are a little bit closer so you can see them better. But um, there's my swarm of dragonflies. It's not a flock, it's a swarm. <laughs> I haven't been swarmed by them though, but I've sure enjoyed making them. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye for now.